All right, as you guys know, the LEV60 batteries from Yousa claim to do 600 amps in bursts of 10 seconds, right? But I haven't had the equipment to test that, but today that changes. Let's test them. All right, so we got a uh, clamp here that will do up to a thousand amps. So let's build a battery using the LEV60 F. Before we do that, we gotta make sure that we got good cells. And one way to do that is to actually test the uh, internal resistance, right? So you do that by pointing these little guys in here, the other one over here. Woo, look at that, 0.39 million ohms. The battery's really low at 3.0, so we'll have to charge them, but look at that. I think if I'm able to get three matching cells like that, we should be able to pull some good power off of them, like 600 amps maybe. Also, an update, I got better bus bars. These little guys are the ones that are gonna be carrying all the current. And I got some thinner ones, which means that, with, that even though they're thinner, they still have the same amount of copper as the thicker ones. So that allows me to put more layers, which means more copper, which means better uh, conductivity, right? So let's build a pack using four good cells and then test it. So here we go, time to do the test. Now it's not 100% uh, balanced. There's one cell, cell number three is a little bit higher, but at this point that, that shouldn't matter too much. Some of these loads take a while to kick on. So I'm gonna see, turn on all of them and then see how fast they come on. Hopefully we can get 600 amps rather quickly rather than take so long that the battery is already sagging. We'll see how it goes. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Boom, starting video. Starting timer. Here we go. Four hundred, five hundred, five twenty. Ah. There we go. So we were almost there, but one of these inverters is... Okay. Okay. All right, take two. I added an extra cable to the battery because I was trying to shove 600 amps through a single cable and the voltage drop was crazy. It was causing one of these guys to... Uh, to, uh, well, give up, right? So now we've added another cable. So now there's two cables. Now you see this is gonna record that in there. Let's try this test again. Let's see if we can get 600 amps. Starting the test. Okay, 260, 300, 400. Come on, 580, 600, there we go, 700 somehow. We're pulling too much, but it's going below 12, right? So let's see if we can control. Okay, so we're starting this test. Uh, start. Here we go. 525 600 at 12.12 20 seconds into the test and this is the point where we hit 600 amps for 10 seconds above 12 volts there 
600, uh, 11.94, there we go. So we it able to do 10 seconds. 128, so those bus parts are going up. Eleven ninety three. It's holding at eleven ninety three with six hundred and thirty five amps. This little battery is pretty awesome. This battery is now my bus bars on the other hand, one hundred and fifty degrees. Yeah, these bus bars can handle about five hundred amps. Six hundred amps, six almost six fifty. Yeah, they get hot at one hundred fifty seven. Okay, eleven eighty eight. Let's see, if we take off one of these loads. Okay, now it's back to 600, 11.94. Yeah, so it's right there, right at the mark, where it could do 600 continues. But those bus bars need to be thicker. Okay. All right, so I'd say the uh, claims from the manufacturer that these can do 600 amps for 10 seconds, they're correct, you know. Now, some cells do. I think I took the, the best four cells out of eight. I had eight of them sitting here, and I, there was a couple of them that thermal resistance was reading a little bit higher, right? Somewhere around, like, actually higher, closer to the specs because the uh, manufacturer spec says that they're 0.7. Uh, million ohms I think right and these are here that were well they were reading a lot better which I it gave me an idea that this test was possible to do right before I hit but I didn't know until I tested it right now this test was far from optimal my loads took 17 seconds to reach 600 amps right so the battery was pushing 400 between 400 500 and then 600 amps but it took 17 seconds to get there and then from there it held above 600, 630 amps for 10 seconds, right? And so if you add that up, I think this probably could do closer to 20 seconds bursts of 600 amps, which these are means they're perfect automotive audio because audio loads are, you know, they're dynamic. They're not there. They're maybe they're pulling 100 amps and then boom, 600 amps. And then, you know, the the bass comes in and if you look at the, the wave, it's not, it's not a full duty cycle, right? It's like 50% duty cycle. It's like hitting 600 and then going down to 400, 600, you know, 100 times a second kind of thing. And so these cells are able, are gonna be able to do that uh, for a long time. So that's why we, at one point we saw 750 amps, right? And yeah, the the battery uh, power went down to 11.7, I think, something like that, 11.7 volts. But that's because this is a continuous test. Right? Yeah, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, people using these in audio applications are able to get to get like a thousand amps out of them, which is transferred to what, like 12,000 watts, 12,000. 15,000 watts. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because this can hold 600 amps continuously for 10 seconds, right? If you use, when you use for 17 seconds to ramp up. I'll say for 20 seconds, right? After this test, that they'll do it. Um, and of course, maybe the reason why the manufacturer is a little bit conservative with their rating is because maybe not all the cells are this good, right? I just got lucky and got this good of cells in the two boxes that I have here. But I think middle of the road is probably 10 seconds, 600 amps, right? So there we go. Confirm 600 amp cells from Yausa, uh, lithium Japan company, whatever. Uh, by the way, the thing that differentiates this from everything else is that these are not Chinese cells. These are Japanese cells, right? So if that means anything to you, then there you go. Okay, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. By the way, these are available right now at Jack 35 for $150, which is crazy low price for this kind of performance. Now, we're not making a lot of money on these, so I think this is gonna be a limited time offer. So get them while you can.